Hello world, this is Rick from Golfing the Villages. I want to welcome you to this channel which is dedicated to bring you all things golf from right here in the Villages, Florida. Tonight we're heading over to one of the executive courses known as Loblolly. Executive courses are mostly made up of par 3s, however it's worth mentioning there are a number of execs with sprinkled in par 4s. Typically you have three choices for teeing ground with a forward green, middle gold, back black, which we call the tips. Tonight we're playing the gold smack dab in the middle. Starting out on the first tee, we have a par 3 playing 133 yards to the pin, with the center of the green roughly 125 yards. Pin is on the left, a draw is called for. This is going to be a pitching wedge. Yeah. Strike is good, ball is high in the air, drawing towards the pin. Good ball. Alright, as you can see, when we reach the green, we have the better part of 30 feet staring us in the face. As you can tell from the video, the greens were punched and sanded here in the last month. My only goal is to get this inside of 3 feet. And I have this knee knocker here for par. Slight push, hop off the face, camera didn't get the tap in. We are now one over through one, second tee is a par three, playing 101 yards to the pin, 97 to the center of the green. Pin is just off the right to the center, with a slight breeze in, this is going to be gap wedge. Light tug to the left. We make it to the front of the green. And we have this ticklish downhill putt for birdie. Putt runs out just a little too far. Another knee knocker trying to save par. just goes past, tap in for another bogey. Now over to the third tee, it's a par 3, playing 140 yards to the pin, and 132 to the center of the green. Pin is basically in the middle, but back of the green. We are two over, through two holes. This is going to be a 9 iron here. Good strike, center of the face, on line with the flag, full bag mode. Sure. We'll see. Let it happen. Definitely our best chance at birdie so far. You're going left to right? And I am second guessing the read here. I make a disappointing stroke, leave the putt short and left. Step up and make this clutch putt to stop the bleeding and save par. In the hole. Nice par. All right, still two over through three holes on the fourth tee. This gorgeous hole is facing out to Warm Springs Road, and we have our first similar yardage. 140 yards to the pin, 134 to the center of the green. There's all kinds of trouble right, and the pin is just over that centermost red stake. I'm going to try to produce the same shot from the hole before, just with a bit more effort to ensure I get to the back of the flag. This is 9 iron. Hold it. On the right. I hit that snapper left, but at least it's dry. So, all right, this is an interesting line. Ball is sitting fine, nice and tall. It's on the downslope and the hill is forcing me right to left. Also, you may notice the flag is on a little shelf up top. After doing my calculations, 
I settle on a shot, which probably aims me too much at the pin. See if I aimed a little more to the left, it would have set up perfectly. And so here we are with another makeable up and down par save, but the putter is not cooperating. Let's see what we do. Yeah, miss it. Tap in for a sloppy pour. Now three over through four holes over to the 50 using my trusty Bushnell laser. I read 145 yards to the pin and it's 147 to the center of the green. A little bit of wind in and off the left coming off that sloppy bogey. I decide full send nine iron is the play. Terrible, thin, open face, toe it's not strike. Drawing. I resort to begging. Okay. The only saving grace is that the ball was dry and found a spot of grass just beyond the penalty area. So you see, I've got plenty of green to work with up the hill. Not really a very difficult shot. I'm using a 50 degree gap wedge here. Just looking to make good contact, bump and run. The contact was okay, but left myself with way too much for par. So now with this look, I'd love to make it to try to save par. But realistically, I'm staring at least a two butt in the face. for wobbling all the way. <sighs> Missed that one. Double bogey five. All right, standing on the tee at the sixth green. This tends to be a birdie hole. 108 center, 116 pin. The pin is located on the top tier or the back shelf of the green just off to the right. We are five over through five holes, just as a reminder. Good strike, a little tug. It did make the correct level of green. So this does give me a chance outside 20 feet to try to make a birdie and save my dignity. Past the whole authority. Punchy greens. Can I make the comebacker and save par? Oh, no. Let's just make it a clean six over through six. And that is going to do it for this video. Apologies we couldn't bring you the last three holes due to darkness and GoPro issues. However, I truly hope you had a chance to enjoy the beautiful scenery we savor by living here in the villages. See you next time.